welcome to our channel again to, uh, as uh, as for the previous video i already made a uh, made a video of which is very important to be called transform i hope um, uh, it is useful for you uh, if i made a very long video don't mind about that guys uh, it is very useful in the on shape if you really uh, you need patience to learn that tool because i also face such situations in that okay okay uh, if you want you can watch that video and learn about how to use the transform tool totally and given the timing also in the description as i mentioned in that video okay uh, that's about that's all about it and now let's come on to the today's topic is about loft tool yeah yeah my, uh, while designing loft is mostly useful when doing the regular mostly doing the surfacing loft is very helpful while doing the surface designing uh, but uh, many of the uh, new cat designers uh, are very confused with the loft tool how to use it and where to use it and which situation we can use the loft tool so today i'm going to explain you what is the loft tool and what are the settings and uh, remaining uh, remaining uh, settings how to use loft in this tutorial uh, please play patience and watch the total video if you want to learn completely uh, don't skip the video guys because it is very important loft is very useful tool in every not only in onshape in any cat software so as for example you can see i did this irregular shape using the loft tool only but uh, we can't do using the normal drawing the curves right so i am going to explain you tool with the using of new uh, in the new part studio okay let's create a one part studio now Okay, we created one part studio. Here, uh, you can first of all, I'm going to explain what is Loft tool. Here at the toolbar, you can see right behind the sweep tool called Loft. If we can click it, the pop-up window is pop-up windows will come like this. Here it's asking. Here we have only another two divisions as solid and surfaces. In solid, we have again number four. as like the extrude tool new add remove intersect as like in surface we have only new or add okay first of all uh, uh, let's talk about the solid part uh, guys i am trying i want to make this into two parts because loft is integrated with many uh, specifications so for the clear understanding if i make a long video it will make you bored so i am going to make how to make into two parts so let's start guys so what it is asking while opening the loft release profiles profile means we need sketches or faces where we need to use the loft tool okay for using the loft tool we need two sketches because lofting means it going to join the two sketches as the uh, faces to get to get a desired shape so let's example right now i'm going to draw a random random sketch i'm using scroll polygons okay i'm not giving a way to it which is q is q6 okay I'm not giving any dimension, and the loft tool, the sketches should be at minimum distance. It should not be on the same distance because the loft tool works as a mm, normal only. It's not works on the same plane. Uh, if I show example, let me show example. I'm writing the sketch. I'm drawing another sketch right behind this. Mm. Okay, I created. 
see I am going to use top tool and clicking the two sketches two script profiles uh, it's showing red mark which it means it is over constrained loft did not generate properly could not determine loft directions means we need the particular direction when we use the loft tool okay so as I said before it will not work on the same plane sketches so I am closing this we need another sketch which we, it is need to uh, in, in case the direction so I am drawing the the first sketch from this profile so for that I need plane right so I am uh, here we can see the plane tool click on it click on the button you want here you can see many planes uh, I will explain you how to use this plane tool in the next coming up to coming tutorials now let's wait for the further and use a certain distance okay uh, hello guys uh, welcome to our channel again to uh, as uh, as for the previous video, I already made a uh, made a video of which is very important to be called transform. I hope um, uh, it is useful for you. Uh, I made a very long video. Don't mind about that, guys. Uh, it is very useful in the on shape. If you really uh, you need patience to learn that tool because I also face such situations in that. Okay okay uh, if you want you can watch that video and learn about how to use the transform tool totally and given the timing also in the description as i mentioned in that video okay uh, that's about that's all about it and now let's come on to today's topic is about love tool yeah yeah no. uh, while designing loft is mostly useful when doing the regular mostly doing the surfacing loft is very helpful while doing the surface designing uh, but uh, many of the uh, new cat designers uh, are very confused with the loft tool how to use it and where to use it and which situation we can use the loft tool so today i'm going to explain you what is the loft tool and what are the settings and uh, remaining uh, mm, uh, remaining uh, settings how to use loft in this tutorial uh, please just play patience and watch the total video if you want to learn completely uh, don't skip the video guys because it is very important loft is very useful tool in every not only in on shape in any cat software so as for example you can see I did this irregular shape using the loft tool only but uh, we can't do using the normal drawing the curves right so i'm going to explain you tool with the using of new uh, in the new part studio okay let's create a one part studio now okay we created one part studio here uh, you can first of all i'm going to explain what is loft tool here at the toolbar you can see right behind the sweep tool called loft if you can click it the pop-up window is pop-up windows will come like this here it's asking here we have only another two divisions as solid and surfaces in solid we have again number four as like the extrude tool new add remove intersect as like in surface we have only new or add okay first of all uh, uh, let's talk about the solid part uh, guys i'm trying i want to make this into two parts of course <coughs> loft is okay. integrated uh, with many other tools in uh, specification so for the clear understanding which means loft will make you it both guys the so loft i'm going to make in how to which make into two parts means uh, so here let's start guys so guys, what it is asking while opening the 
this please clear profile point of clean means we need to get clear i use the power faces to this plane where like we need letter to this plane here is a lot we get to this plane okay. by joining the two for using the two points the car we two sketches okay i use this point and this point and to join the next of the sketches as a face as some curve like some over to get okay. now to get the side shape here we need guide that's example guide and right now means this and both to try to follow this guide running a random sketch and we see inscribed for the only particular edge is for the guide yeah i'm not even going to remind if you are following the skew operation one part is view six on guide continuity okay okay and not in any dimension you guys should have under the lock tool and the sketches mm, should be uh, at minimum distance you should not uh, be you for the same distance because the uh, lock tool works as a mm, normal only is not works on the same plane uh, if i show uh, let me show example i'm writing the sketch i'm drawing another sketch right behind this Mm. Okay, I created. See, I'm going to use Draw Tool. I'm clicking the two sketches, two script profiles. Uh, it's showing red mark, which it means it is over constrained. Loft did not generate properly. Could not determine loft directions. Means we need the particular direction when we use the loft tool. Okay. So as I said before. it will not work on the same plane sketches so i am closing this we need another sketch which we it is need to uh in case the direction so i am drawing the the far sketch from this profile so for that i need plane right so i am uh, here we can see the plane tool click on it click on the what plane you want here you can see many planes uh, i will explain you how to use this plane tool in the next coming up to coming tutorials now let's wait for the further and use a certain distance okay uh, i'm selecting the plane and drawing the sketch again and use the same polygon here i am drawing somewhat far from this center okay uh, in some random direction and i am going to queue only five to show the difference are okay so i am going to action done now we have two profiles what the loft tool before was asked right so i am clicking on the loft tool it has two profiles right so here we perform the solid operations so i am selecting this profile and we need another profile i am selecting this hexagon profile now see the loft operation is performed in solid but you can i am okay in this for that now you can see it is um performed in its own direction we don't know is generally formed in this particular way because it has five it has six directions so it is matching to the particular line faces in the loft tool mm. wait guys the system is looking bit slow sometimes okay don't mind about that okay as we did solved operation we get this result but we can make the uh, simple forward direction also using the loft tool here uh, you can see there is an another uh, options are available here is end conditions end conditions means uh, uh, it has start profile condition and end profile condition means which means uh, we need in a you need a particular direction a particular path we want to follow the profile from first profile to second profile so by using this conditions we have again have five 
I want to show three four conditions need. By using this conditions, we can give the direction of the profiles to start or end of the profile by using the for loft operation. So for example, I am selecting normal to profile, which means the loft operation will perform normal to this sketch. See the sketch or the data shape of the law solid was changed when I selected for normal to profile and and I am selecting end profile condition so for present I am giving the normal to profile also see here the here also it go this shape was changed and it performed the normal to this profile see the straight part you can see later gear stands like this uh, you have From regular irregular shape to regular shape using the, by drawing the grids as per your want. And for next is path. It works the same side work as same guys, but guide and um, path is different. Guide is works only for the only edges, but the path works as the whole so whole body. If I select the path, see. The whole body is following this only path and it bended according to the car which I have drawn in the solid body. Uh, don't mind that, so these are curves like that. Okay. Uh, section count here, this section count, which is how many sections you want to have, depends upon this. The here, see, yeah, here, I if I, I had only one section at the middle in based on the sections the the loft is going to follow if you want the clear clear following we can give the maximum uh, C if i give more we can we can get the curved shape if i give less see the part shape how it sits executing scheme or some more not it feels like not following the path correctly, right? This depends on the home and sections you want. It's like a mesh work, guys. If you have known about how the mesh works, you can understand. Okay, and this is the how we can use the path in the loft operation. And another one we have got match connections. Match connections as here you can see it matched itself to the profile. But if you want in, if you want, uh, you want any particular shape. Uh, uh, if you want to match the connections, like it's asking C, vertices or edges. So uh, for now, I want to sell this point, this vertex. I want to match this vertex to this vertex. When I select this, see, this vertex is following this vertex. Means. It is matching the connections. So when I select this, the other parts also changing to directions. See, 
it from, from this H2 this is changed shifted to other edges like this uh, I won't, we can match connections and change the shape of the loft uh, solid body or even surface also uh, here uh, okay and building the M1 to do another one I'm selecting this and I'm selecting mm, this one see how does it came see it completely like twisted for twisted operations we can use this match connection it is very helpful for the designing the kind of things in this one we can give not only two points it's based on the shape you can give okay uh, and anti concentrations and show iso curves iso curves are nothing but like a mesh of the body guys uh, if you you can give us how many you want if you give the whole mesh it gives the perfect nice to the body in the loft operation if you give what uh, as i explained in in the part body same as you can give meshes to the so iso curve using the iso curves the loft operation in the next i hope i can i think uh, you understand what i explained about the guide continuity path and how to use loft tool and i will explain you in the next video about any conditions because uh, i drawn some inconsistent sketches is not showing for you for better explaining i will let you explain in the next upcoming video okay uh, uh, and as well as uh, i will explain it along with the surface how it works so that's all about uh, today's tutorial guys i hope you understand how to use the loft tool uh, if you uh, if you really like the video and got information uh, please do share like and subscribe our channel guys because uh, i tried my best to explain about uh, about the how to use the loft tool uh, if you really interested please do like the next part of the video will come in the next day or day after tomorrow that's all about today thank you guys have a nice day